I'm so sorry if you can hear that noise. I'm sure you probably can't, but in case you can, <laughs> that would be my kitten, <laughs> living her best life in her bag. Last week it was cardboard boxes. This week it's plastic bags. Next week, stay tuned. <laughs> well, today I'm gonna be doing a drugstore and makeup tutorial. Basically all the products that I'm gonna be using in this tutorial, I feel like in my humble little opinion are so much better in just how they perform and quality wise, how they look, how they last in the skin, whatever it might be. I feel like they're better than high end. Which is awesome, right? Because they're drugstore, they're more affordable. <laughs> okay, so starting off with primer. Elf Halo Glow is definitely a go-to of mine recently. So I've done nothing but use this since I got it. And I've had the Charlotte Tilbury one. And it took me a long time, if not a couple of years, to get through it. <laughs> and I don't know whether it's because I just wasn't really vibing much with the product itself. Or I'm just in my softer complexion glowing era where this type of product is something that I'm more gravitating towards. But overall, I love this product. It is so, so good. I obviously wear this just as a bit of a prep slash primer um, for foundation. I also like to mix it in with my foundation or I can also use it as a wee highlighter. It's honestly a beautiful product to mix in with just a wee bit of concealer on days where you're wanting like that no makeup makeup type of look. It has a wee bit of colour and tint to it, not enough to add coverage, it's just going to soften and even out your skin tone a wee bit, but just the finish that it gives to the skin. I feel like I didn't really need to say much about this product because we all know about it, <laughs> but I love it. It's so, so good. So the shade I do take in the e.l.f. Halo Glow is shade 2, so this is light medium. And this one is actually also infused with hyaluronic acid and squalene. I think it is squalene, isn't it? Which also just works to hydrate the skin. So with foundation, I'm raging. <laughs> because I've had this type of video in my head for such a long time. But I have been holding off to kind of see like, what products I genuinely want to talk about. And what products I really do feel are better or perform better than high end. <sighs> And in that time, <laughs> I actually went through the foundation I was wanting to talk about. So this is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This is done. I had to take this out of my empties box, so I obviously can't use it. But this foundation, 100%, this is so, so good. Definitely a fantastic dupe, I would say, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> for the NARS Natural Radiant Longer Foundation. Oh, how it looks on the skin, how it blends, how it builds, the coverage, the finish, everything. And it's just oh, another really affordable drugstore foundation that I love and it is an absolute go-to. I will gravitate towards this foundation over any other high-end foundation I have in my collection, the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. Now I know that this isn't a favourite for a lot of people. I feel like you either love it or hate it, maybe depending on your skin type, but I love this. I do have dry skin, so I get on great with it because it is quite illuminating to the skin. It definitely gives like a really nice glossy, G, healthy glow. The shade I'm taking is Nude Beige. This shade is going to match my fake tan on the rest of my body, but it's not necessarily going to match my face because I haven't tanned my face, so just bear with me on that. <laughs> Definitely more glossy looking on the skin, whereas the Catrice gives more of a satin look to the skin. But overall, the coverage and the look that these foundations give to the skin is just absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. Before I move on to finishing off the skin, I'm actually going to do the eyes and get that over and done with. So, Beauty Bay Eyeshadows and Colourpop. They're definitely my go-tos and they're obviously drugstore. Colourpop is drugstore. Beauty Bay is affordable <laughs> and they're always in sales on their palettes by the way so they're definitely worth getting. I obviously use these palettes constantly in my tutorials, you know I love them, you know how they perform but they are one of the best formulas, honestly they're fantastic. When it comes to pigmentation, how they blend, how they blend together, how they last, the colours, the shades, the tones, the colour stories, just the overall quality of these palettes for the price and what you're paying. It's in a brainer. <laughs> so this is the Midnight palette, and I want to do some blue. I'm just using this dark blue shade just to pack on that crease. 
and it's actually not as dark as I'm wanting it to be so I'm gonna go into midnight. This is the twilight shade that I was using. I'm gonna go to midnight. So I'm gonna switch to this P. Louise brush. I think it's dirty though. So I'm gonna give it a clean. Switch into this brush because it's slightly smaller and more petite so I can be more precise at the outer corner creating my shape of the wing. Going in between pattern that shadow on and dragging the shadow to create my shape. It doesn't need to be perfect as well because we're obviously going to go in and blend it. <laughs> also taking a wee bit of that black with the exact same P. Louise brush. I'm going to pack this on just right in that crease. Just to deepen it up. Also taking some of that midnight shadow. Why did I say it like that? Shadow. <laughs> as some of you probably may know, Kyle has, well, Kyle's mum has five big German Shepherds and I'm not even joking, two of them this year, honestly talking about bad luck, two of them this year have had to be put down and one of them there at the weekend, Saturday morning, the mum had to be put down. Basically, whenever I first started going with Kyle, his mum had Shadow and Ranger. And then a Shadow and Ranger had Pups. They gave away, I think, a couple of the Pups and then they kept three. <laughs> so that's what made their total of dogs up to five German Shepherds. So obviously Shadow was quite old. I think she's what, 13? Which I think that's a really good age actually for like a purebred pedigree German Shepherd. Um, but over the past six months, even a year actually, like her health has just deteriorated. She's took a couple of strokes and everything and yeah, I think it was Friday. They had woke up and she had completely lost the mobility of her back end, like her back legs, like she couldn't walk, she couldn't stand, so it's just like, yeah, she was already deteriorating and her health was just really badly declining. They think that she had actually took another stroke. So she had to be put down on Saturday morning. So that was sad. Wee shadow. It's so funny, you know, because like she was just, she because she was like the mum, and she was the older one of all of them, she was just like a wee grumpy old woman. So funny. I actually put up a wee picture because I have so many pictures of the dogs, but I'll put up like probably one of my favourite pictures of her. <laughs> and then I'll also put a picture up of Shadow and Ranger as well. So you can see him. If you watch my vlogs, you would have seen Ranger quite a bit. He would definitely be mine and Kyle's favourite. He's a big darling. He's such a placid big doe. I swear to God, he's such a Oh, I love him. <laughs> but I think it was only February that one of the pups had to get put down as well because she had got cancer. So I've just gone around all those edges, just blending that all out. You always want to go in between brushes and shades to perfect your blend. But you see, whenever you have an eyeshadow palette that the quality is good, the blendability is there, the pigment is great. Honestly, that's half the battle and good quality brushes. Well, that's my opinion anyway. But honestly, those shadows are just blending like an absolute dream. They're so, so nice. Gonna go into a wee bit of elixir and inner just a wee bit more of that. Gonna take a bit of my cellar water and these wee cotton buds. I'm gonna try and carve out my shape first and then go in with the P. Louise and Mitchell as a drain paint to then cut my grains. <sighs> this makes me so nervous.
gonna take this wee single shadow from Colourpop. It's one of their Super Shock shadows. It's in the shade Ice Dream. As you can see, it's quite pale. It's very, very white, but it does have like a blue shift to it. So I'm gonna take the tiniest wee bit of this. I actually already have it on. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, just on my brow bone. I just think that because I'm keeping the cut crease plain and bare, I'm kind of wanting to do a wee bit of Oh, that was a horrible noise that my mermaid, um, mermaid, <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I just want a wee bit of something to make it a bit more interesting. <laughs> so I'm just going to be pressing this on. I'm not going to be necessarily bringing it right over into the inner corner. If you want to recreate this, feel free to. But I'm not just going to be focusing it right at that brow bone. And just pressing that on because these can be quite flaggy. I'm not going to take this glitter from Technique. It's just a pale blue glitter. I'm literally just going to take like what's in the lid. And just place it on. Oh, this is freaking sick. This looks so nice. <laughs> I love that brow bone, oh my god. Unreal. Could you imagine this in a different colour? I really want to do like an orange, like a burnt orange, red, like a flaming eye makeup look very soon. I think this would look sick if this was like orange or red or even pink or purple. Mm -mm. This week concealer from Collection. It's just like a concealer I will always go back to. I'm actually running down, damn it. Um, and it's just, it's fantastic. It's a concealer I will always have in my collection. And I won't always use it. It's not necessarily a go-to. But it's one of those products that I always need to have in my collection. And you know what? It's fabulous. It is so, so good. For a wee concealer, it being like £2, £4, whatever. It is absolutely incredible. It is the Last in Perfection concealer, by the way. If you don't know about it, if you haven't tried it, I love it for how it looks on the under eyes. The finish it gives, the look it gives, how it nicely it conceals my under eyes while also highlighting at the same time. And I think it's just for the price. For the price point and for the quality and how good the concealer is, it is absolutely amazing. And the coverage is lovely as well. I can achieve like a full coverage under eye with this concealer and that's what I usually aim towards. But if that's not necessarily your vibe, <laughs> use less and use your finger to blend it out. It just makes my under eyes look flawless. I will zoom you in so you can have the wee look. I'm gonna blend it right out. Now this is from Pink High. This wouldn't necessarily be considered a drugstore because you can't get it in drugstores. However, this is an affordable brand. So the shade I take is Toffee Truffle and I just like to apply this with a sponge directly to my skin. I like to take a wee bit at a time because it can look quite orange quite quickly on me. But I feel like whenever I'm applying it like this with a sponge, I can kind of control how much product I'm actually putting on my face. <laughs> this has obviously been raved about and has went viral on TikTok and for good reason. It is honestly so so good. When I first tried it my wee socks weren't exactly blown off because it was literally just like any other cream bronzer I've used but you know what I have been reaching for it and I do reach for it. If I'm going away for the night or if I need to pack up a makeup bag this is the cream bronzer that I will be taking with me. It's honestly it's so so good and I love the colour of it even as I'm ascend there it can look a wee bit orange when quickly on me. I can obviously control that. And I just, I love the colour. If you do find that these are a wee bit too orange on you, they have recently, it just came out with contour shades. Like, as you can see, it just blends like an absolute dream. It has so nicely just warmed my skin up and it just looks so creamy and buttery on the skin. It just applies so evenly and nicely on the skin as well. So I was sent these recently and these are new from Makeup Revolution and it's their mousse blushes. It's in the shade Grapefruit and it's a really, really nice coral. I've actually put far too much on. Shit. <laughs> these are like a really nice airy, wet formula, which just makes it 
super super creamy easy to blend on the skin you can actually apply these blushes on non-set skin and set skin so if you're powdered you can also use these wee blushes and they're stunning they're absolutely beautiful and they're really pigmented <laughs> Highlight, of course, one of my current favourites. This is the wee one from Rimmel London, and it's in the shade Stardust. It's actually one of the first highlights I have purchased in such a long time. I feel like highlights aren't really... Like, we do we still buy highlight? <laughs> but I can't remember who it was I seen using this on TikTok, and I was instantly sold and i love it it's just a really nice buttery smooth highlight it doesn't have any glitteriness to it it's just a beautiful like nicely intense sheen it's stunning you can obviously just have like a nice wee and dusting of it just to give an overall glow to the skin or you can obviously have it really intense <laughs> i always still accidentally go ham with my highlight so i'm gonna try and buff this in as much as i can but you can see how beautiful it looks and just as you turn your head how it catches the light so i had to go with morphe bronzers i can't help it i love morphe bronzers i feel like they're so so good but you know what i say a really good bronzer from the drugstore is milani bronzers is it dulce dulce who the hell knows um <laughs> unfortunately i don't have that if i did have that in my collection that is the bronzer i would be talking about right now dulce or dulce from milani fabulous because it has a wee bit of like vein and glow through it it's not only bronzing the skin but it's adding a bit of radiance and it's just overall an absolutely beautiful bronzer and these are the Galana Bronze Face and Body Bronzers. They are well big, they're a pain in the arse to store, but you're actually getting more products, so that's fine. This one is in shade Mastermind. I think this is my non tan shade. And then this is Icon, yeah. But these bronzers are just flawless on the skin. With me, I think we all know. <laughs> I go very ham and I'm very heavy handed with my products just in general but especially bronzers they can tend to go quite muddy quickly on me and these just look beautiful on the skin they just melt in they're like butter it's just such a gorgeous colour of bronzer as well it's so so nice but it's the formula like obviously you can pick your colour of bronzer but it's the formula of it is so so nice on the skin I'm so sorry if you can hear my cat, but she is literally having the time of her life with a plastic bag. <laughs> so guys, I actually went off camera there to finish off my lower lash line and do my lips because my battery died. But this is actually the end of this tutorial. Anyway, guys, thank you all so, so much for watching. For the first time in a very long time, I will actually do my job properly <laughs> and link the products that I use down below in the description box but i love this makeup look i really wasn't expecting to love it as much it just looks so freaking nice i feel like the glitter on the brow bone has just took it from zero to 100 i absolutely love it i feel like this would be beautiful also in a different color pink purple orange thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one